hi and welcome back to my channel so this week I am so excited to tell you my husband's back I did finish this this weekend this is a splendid triangle shawl by lion brand it needs finishing so I really haven't truly finished here's the cast on and the cast off so I have to that's it that's all I have to weave that in and then I truly will be finished I just wanted to make sure you were seeing the front and this is the front and then this is the wrong side believe it or not in the pattern if you go to Lion Brand's website they actually show the wrong side though the models wearing the wrong side out I don't know why let me show you the edging I've never done this type of uh, cast off this was a crocheted cast off and it makes these loops can you see turn it around these loops really pretty so I'm gonna put it on so you can see how it looks it's really big I have not blocked it I literally just finished it it needs to be washed whoops I'm wearing it backwards I'm wearing it like the model did let's try it again so so this is the right side out, not the wrong side out. And it is really long, it's very large. Um, so there's that. That's how it looks, it's so pretty. Let me stand up so you can see. I've been to Walmart. I've been to Walmart, and I've also been to Hub or to Michaels. But this is a project that I'm making. That's a floral arrangement for some hanging baskets that I have on my balcony outside. And so it's just to kind of give some fall colors. Some brown-eyed Susans. Some cheap silk flowers that I got at Walmart. They were less than a dollar. They were 97 cents a piece. So that's pretty. Then I'm going to stick them into these things. I'm going to snip them and make an, a flower arrangement. Stick it in this and then set this inside the, the hanging basket pot. It's going to look good. You're going to like it. I've got another uh, project that I'm going to work on. Let me show you the components to that. So I've got this lovely. So I have this lovely candelabra. It's really pretty. It's a bit boring, but it was my husband's grandmother's, and I loved it. And she had it uh, arranged with silk flowers. So I thought I would take her idea and make a fall, a fall scene using some fall garland. And look, it has bitty pumpkins here. They're a little bit up. There's a, they're a little beat up. I've got acrylic paint that I'm going to use to, to solve that problem. A little gourds. A little gourd. Some, some faux seed pods. Another little pumpkin. Very cute. And so I'm going to incorporate this garland around these candles. I might throw in a few of these uh, Brown Eyed Susans or um, Golden Mums. Then, I've got some brown twine to help with the project. And the most exciting part is I did buy yarn. This is sock yarn. I've never done the socks before. And I thought this is a pretty color. And it is... Trying to see what it's made of. It's washable wool and nylon. So it says 75% washable wool and nylon. So. It says Patton's Croy Socks. I have no idea how many socks you can get out of a ball. So I bought two balls for two socks. So 
you'll see here. Oh, I did start another crochet project using my cotton yarn. I think I'm making a, a maybe a, a bath towel or something for the baby. I don't know. It's going to be for a baby. It's always good. That's what I bought this yarn for, was so that I can knit, crochet, um, dishcloths, and now I'm going to try a hand towel. I'm going to crochet a hand towel. So, just doing a, a simple double crochet rib uh, in a standard hand towel um, dimensions. So, I hope you had a good week, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your next week, and hopefully I'll have another update um, the next few days on the house so you can kind of see uh, the progress we made. Uh, the new carpet is in place and it is lovely. Uh, the new floors are in place and we absolutely adore them. We still have a bit of wood trim to paint and to reinstall. Uh, this weekend we spent the weekend at um, painting and moving things back into our office and my husband is actually down in his office right now reorganizing and getting things the way he would like it. So hopefully I'll have some photographs to share with you of the finished. But until then, I'll show you my progress photos. And I hope that you have a good week next week. <laughs> Take care and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.